Hi there. This week's episode includes discussions of animal butchering. Parental discretion may be advised. Just Chitty the Podcast, presented by Just Chitty Productions. Hi there. I'm your host, Fondue. In this week's episode, we tackle the question... Is Parmesan cheese vegetarian? Isn't it? We talk vegetarian. Whoa. We talk Parmesan. Wow. And we talk rennet. Ooh. We also cover some of the January holidays. Yay, holidays. Dr. Martin Luther King Day, National Quark Day, and National Cheese Lovers Day. Celebrate. And no episode would be complete without our very cheesy joke. Cheers. Stay tuned Cheers. for episode 61, No Guts, No Parmesan, on Just Cheesy, the podcast. So cheesy. Did you know that tomorrow is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day? Mm -hmm. And did you also know that the 19th is World Quark Day? Really? And the 20th is one of our favorites, National Cheese Lovers Day? I believe we did an episode about those holidays. That's right. We covered those holidays last year in Season 1, Episode 10. Ah, yes. A link to the episode is in our show notes this week. And if you want to be able to celebrate more holidays every day, yeah. we love the site nationaltoday.com. Yeah, we do. For instance, today is National Strawberry Ice Cream Day. Ooh. It's also National Fresh Squeezed Juice Day. Yum. Say that a couple times fast. Nope. It's also National Bagel Day and National Pothole Day. What? So check out nationaltoday.com to get your special holidays. Yay. I know it's a little early in the episode, but here's my favorite segment. This week. Cheese. A major question was raised by the internet this week. TikTok, Twitter, articles, the whole place was abuzz with the question, it was? is Parmesan cheese vegetarian? Isn't it? I know this might sound a little bit silly, but I thought to myself, well, would you even think that something that came from an animal would be vegetarian? Right. But then I thought, I don't actually know that much about vegetarianism. Yeah. So let's find out what it actually is. Good idea. Wikipedia describes vegetarianism as the practice of abstaining from the consumption of meat, and they list specifically red meat, poultry, seafood, insects, Ew. and the flesh of any other animal. Ew, flesh. And this also includes the byproducts of animal slaughter. Aww. So this part of the definition didn't really touch on the dairy aspect, in my opinion. Right. So then it goes on to talk about different types of vegetarian diets. Ah, okay. First, we have the ovo-lacto-vegetarian diet. Okay. That includes eggs and dairy products and no flesh. Ah. Then we have the ovo-vegetarian, which includes eggs but does not include dairy. Oh, okay. Then there's the lacto-vegetarian which includes dairy and no eggs. Makes sense. And then vegan, which is the most strict of them all, which excludes all animal products. Oh. And in the strictest form of veganism, that also includes any animal byproducts or uses like leather for shoes or belts or boots. Uh -huh. Vegetarians, not a sponsor. Nope. But if they were, their ad would go right here. Have you ever wanted to listen to the web? Yeah. Well, Newsly makes that possible. They do? They're an all-in-one audio super app for iOS and Android. Super app. You can listen to trending articles on the web on topics that you choose and get them read to you in a natural human voice. What kind of topics? Sports, cheese? tech, business, cheese. science. Cheese? I'm sure there's even cheese. Yay! They even have an entire section for podcasts. Are we there? Of course we are. Ooh. It's one of my new favorite podcasts. Podcast apps. They even have digital radio. Holy cow. Just go to www.newsly.me to download it free Whoa. or use the link in the description. If you use the promo code CHEESY, Cheesy. that'll get you one month free premium subscription. Yay, Newsly. Now, back to the podcast. According to an article in FresnoB.com called A Definitive Answer to the Viral TikTok Debate Is Parmesan Cheese Vegetarian? They discuss a TikTok video that's now gone viral and at the time of this recording is already up to 4.1 million views. Holy cow. You see, this TikToker was very surprised that Parmesan cheese is, in fact, not typically vegetarian. Whoa. It can be, but it usually isn't. It isn't? When talking about traditional Parmesan, which is Parmigiano Reggiano, it's regulated highly, made in Italy, 
The cheese is made under very strict guidelines. Okay. It's made from cow's milk. Right. And it includes an ingredient called calf rennet. Rennet? On a website called cheesemaking.com, they discuss the ingredients needed in order to make cheese. I think the first and most important ingredient is milk. Of course. In our first ever episode, we talked about the different animals that could give you some milk. Right. We talked about cows and goats and sheep. Yeah. And donkeys and camels. That's right. So check out our first episode if you're curious what animals you can milk. So milk is our first and most important ingredient. Yeah. They've listed two ingredients, cultures and mold powder. Yeah. Cultures can help ripen your milk by increasing acidity. Okay. And mold powders help to enhance flavor and aroma. The next ingredient they discuss is rennet. Rennet is the ingredient that can determine whether or not your cheese is vegetarian. Really? In order to better understand rennet, we went to an article called Where Does Animal Rennet Come From? and an article called Rennet's Roll on a website called culturecheesemag.com. Animal rennet is made up of an enzyme called chymosin. Okay. It's typically found in the fourth stomach what? of an unweaned calf, kid, or lamb. What? In nature, the enzyme causes the milk in their stomach to turn into a soft cheese Ooh. so that digestion can be more slow and nutrients can get absorbed better. Ah. Cheesemakers use rennet in order to do the same thing which is coagulate milk or create curd. Oh, okay. In a lot of the articles and discussion about Parmesan cheese this week, there's questions out there about how many baby animals are killed to get the rennet for cheese. Oh, my. They explain here that animal rennet is a byproduct of young animal slaughter. Aww. It would be unusual for an animal to be killed just for the production of rennet because it would be very wasteful. <sighs> it says here that traditionally, cheesemakers would get their rennet from a local butcher okay. in the form of what they call vels. Vels? A vel or an abomasum which is the fourth stomach of the animal, Ew, what? is, they say here, blown up like a large balloon to help it dry. Cheesemakers would buy strips of vel, and when they needed rennet, they'd rehydrate a strip in saline water, and that would extract the enzyme. Okay. All the way back in 1874, the Hansen Company in Scandinavia Whoa. isolated the enzyme from the vel, and they were able to produce rennet commercially for cheesemaking. Oh. This began laboratory-produced rennet. It helped with control over the end product, and it was much more consistent. Okay. So Parmigiano Reggiano is not vegetarian because it contains animal rennet. Who knew? Parmesan cheese, the cousin of Parmigiano Reggiano, does not have stringent regulations and can be made with or without calf rennet. Really? They say that typically enzymes on the ingredient list of a U.S. made cheese denotes the vegetarian rennet. Ah. And they also say that Kraft Parmesan cheese is indeed made with microbial vegetarian rennet. Nice. In an article in the spruceeats.com, called Where Can I Buy Rennet? They discuss animal rennet, vegetarian rennet, where to buy rennet, and if indeed you even need rennet in order to make cheese. Interesting. Rennet is available in powder, tablet, and liquid form. Oh. They say that liquid is the easiest to work with because it can be most precisely measured. Sure. But they go on to say that rennet tablets and powders keep better under non-ideal storage conditions. Okay. It can be found at health food stores and online. Nice. The article goes on to talk about vegetarian rennet. It's derived from plants or microbes, okay. and it's not animal-based. Oh, great. Plant rennet can come from things like thistle, artichoke, nettles, safflower, melon, bedstraw, and fig leaves. Whoa. There are some challenges because the strength can vary. Oh. It seems to take a great deal of skill to produce a consistent cheese. Oh. And in terms of flavor, they do say it can develop a slightly bitter taste. Oh. There are very few commercially produced cheeses that use vegetable rennet. Huh. There are microbial and GM chymosin rennets also used in the production of cheese. Wow. If our listeners remember, all the way back in Season 2, Episode 3... We made our own cheese yeah. without using rennet. Oh, that's right. We used whole milk, yeah. salt, and vinegar. Yeah. Check out that episode if you want to learn a little bit about making your own cheese at home. Yeah. If you're looking for rennet, both animal and vegetable, to make your own cheese, you can go to cheesemaking.com and they have supplies on their website. You can even find vegetable rennet on Amazon 
We've got a link to some in our show notes. Whoa. Are you ready for a joke, Cheesy? I sure am. What did the cheesemaker say when caught stealing? I don't know. No way. I didn't do it. Oh, Get uh, it? Ha, way? Ha, ha, W-H-E-Y? Ha, ha, ha. These jokes are getting so bad. They are not bad. They're a little bit cheesy. In honor of National Cheese Lovers Day, Ooh. let's all post our favorite pics of cheese using the hashtag Just Cheesy on Instagram and Twitter. Hashtag Just Cheesy. We're going to post ours. We hope you do too. Stay cheesy, everybody.